Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Header. Today I'm gonna make a video to create or add custom domain for authentication for your Firebase project. This question been asked a few times, but now I just have the time to do it. So let me show you what I mean by create a custom domain for authentication. So for example, if I create a user um, using email, for example, and you send the email verification, you see that the email will have different domain from Firebase, but not the domain that I created. So it may create suspicious for customer. Or if you have social login, such as Google, for example, you see that this is my Firebase project, and it's not the domain that user is familiar with. So it's much better if you can customize this domain. Okay. And so let's start it. So the first thing you should do is to go to your Firebase project. You go to authorization, and then you can go to the template uh, tab in the authentication. And then inside this one, you see that the email, it has the uh, domain name here, which is not the one that you are using. And you can update it by updating customized domain so for example if i want to have something different maybe such a odd they will help me okay i'm going to create a subdomain um with authentication for example you, you feel free to create something new okay and then after that i'm gonna continue this is the information that i need to add to my um, dns record let me open my domain management I use Namecheap, but the process should be the same compared to other domain provider. Let's see. I'm gonna create two TXT and two CNAME record. Okay, let's start it. I'm gonna copy this one first. And then I'm gonna add new record here. TXT. Oh, it's gonna be auth. And then the value should be the one that I just copy. Then I'm going to update it. I'm going to add another one. So just continue to update your record. Two thousand years later. And then I'm going to save on changes. So I should have four new record here. The changes may take time to update. So let's see. Um, I'm going to verify it. Just say that it takes up to 48 hours um, to verify your domains. So the verification request has been sent. Custom domain verification is in progress. Look like my custom domain is being uh, verified. And then I'm gonna click apply custom domain. Cool. So custom domain applied. Um, you see that the email will come from this one. not the uh, default um, Google Firebase project anymore. Let's update the uh, email template too. So we customize this uh, domain name. So it should be https and then the new domain name and then underscore underscore out action. Okay, save it. Okay, you see that the new um, domain is being updated. Another important step um, before you do the authentication is you need to create a hosting with the subdomain so Firebase know um, how to redirect the authentication handler to your new subdomain. Okay, so I'm gonna add another site and then it's gonna be okay. And then you will map the domain name custom domain into this one. So Firebase will assign a, an SSL certificate for the new domain. And what I need to do is to add an A record and point it to this IP address. And then I'm going to save it. 
it will take a few minutes or few hours to verify the process. So let's finish this one. I don't know when it's gonna be done, but let's wait then. You should wait until the hosting is being uh, verified and propagating. It might take up to 24 hours, but usually it's about few hours. So before this process is finished, you should wait until you update the uh, auto domain in Firebase or in WordPress or in the uh, credential. Otherwise, it's not gonna recognize your custom domain. Okay. Uh, make sure that you go to your Google Cloud platform and then go to API and then credential. And under the OAP uh, to client ID, uh, you see that you have web client under this one and then you're gonna update it. Okay. You see a list of domain that uh, authorize the JavaScript origin uh, in this one. And I'm gonna update the domain to my custom domain, which is uh, uh dot me, and then I'm gonna save it, and then let me update the authorization domain in the uh, WordPress dashboard. You see that I need to update the auth domain in this one to dot me, and then I'm gonna save it. Now we can like test it again. So now if I click on the sign in with Google, you will see this is my domain. Okay. It's not the default project ID and Firebase app.com anymore. So now we successfully add a custom domain for the authorization process. So every time user login, uh, to your WordPress using the Google or social media method. User should see your domain name so they're not gonna be confused and the email they're gonna get is also from your custom domain. So now you know how to create a custom domain for your authentication process. So if you have any question in the future, please send me a message and See you in the next video. Bye.